Async await is most useful topic in asynchronous JavaScript and you will learn this in very simple and easy way. Hello friends, welcome back to this channel. If you are new here, my name is Meet. I am a software engineer and on this channel, I explain web development in simple and easy way. So what is async await? Async await is a way to write asynchronous code as synchronous code. By using async await, we can consume promises in much easier way. So this is the last tutorial of the asynchronous JavaScript series. I uploaded these three videos recently. So watch these three videos and then continue this video. You will understand async await very easily. So this is the promise which we consume using then and catch method. But this code looks little bit complicated. So we can write this same code in much easier way using async await. Let me show you. So I comment out this then and catch method. Good. Now the thing about async await is we can only use async await inside the function. So for that, we have to create a new function called getStudent. And inside this function, we can consume promise using async await. So first of all, we write our promise variable which is pr and before that, we simply add await keyword. Now here we can see we are getting error and it is telling us await expressions are only allowed within async functions. So to make our normal function as async function, we need to just write async keyword at the beginning of the function. And don't worry, our function will run the same as before. Just we can use await in this function. Now what is this await keyword do? This await keyword pause the execution of the async function until the promise is resolved or rejected. In simple words, it is telling our code wait until the promise state change to resolve or reject it. Simple as that. So here, what we get? Right, we get the data which we pass in the resolve function. So we can store it in variable called data. And let's simply console.log this data. Now let's call this getStudent function at the bottom. Save the changes and take a look. See, here we get our data. And that's it. This is async and await. It is used to simplify our code. So we can easily write and read our code. Now what if this promise return error? So we can change this status to false, which means this reject function will call. Now let's see how we can handle error in async await method. So for handling error, we need to use try and catch method. It is also simple. Let me show you. So first of all, we add try and in the curly brackets, we will move our code. Now if anything goes wrong in this try block, our code directly move to the catch block. So we add here catch block and this catch block has one parameter called error. And yes, it is the same error which promise return in the reject function. So in the curly brackets, we can simply log this error. Now let's see this is working or not. See, here we get our error. So in simple terms, if any error occur in this try block, then this catch block will run. Now some students might ask, this seems like this await is blocking our code from running forward. And yes, it is true. But that is true only for this async function. Let me show you what I mean. So here, after calling this async function, I add one console line. This is asynchronous JavaScript. Now what do you think when this line will run? Will it wait for our promise to resolve? Let's see. See, here first we get this console message and after that, when that function complete, then we get here message. So don't worry, async await is a way to write asynchronous code looks like synchronous code, but our code will work in asynchronous way. So that's how we consume promises in much easier way than this then and catch method. It's your choice which you want to use. They both works the same. It's totally up to you what you want to choose. And here, our asynchronous JavaScript series is completed. 
I hope you learn from it. And also, currently I am working on the ultimate Node.js course in which you will learn Node.js from scratch to advanced level in very easy to explain language and with real world projects. So in the description box, I added one Google form link. Enter your email and first thousand students will get this course completely free for lifetime. So quickly register, link is down in the description and I will see you in the next video.